Paul Harney was one of the most accomplished golfers of the modern era and set the gold standard for professional golf in Massachusetts. A Worcester native and a College of the Holy Cross graduate, Harney emerged on the PGA Tour in 1955. It did not take him long to announce his deafening presence when he claimed his first professional win at the 1957 Carling Open. Just two weeks later at the Labatt Open, Harney would win again. In 1963, after finishing in the top 10 in earnings in four of the previous eight years, and at the young age of 33, Harney announced that he would no longer be a full-time player. His first child had reached school age, and he was to fulfill a promise he made to his wife, Patricia. He left his full-time PGA Tour life to take a job as a club professional. It was a decision that surprised many, but it was one that made perfect sense to a man who valued family above all else. Harney began his professional teaching career in California, but it did not take long before he returned home and established roots at Pleasant Valley Country Club, where he remained until 1973. His professional playing career continued to thrive and he remained one of the longest drivers of his day despite his lean frame. He would go on to win three more PGA Tour events, including back-to-back -back wins in 1964 and 1965 at the LA Open, which was a feat accomplished only by Ben Hogan. Harney also finished in the top eight four times at the Masters during that decade. In 1972, he capped his playing career winning the San Diego Open, his sixth PGA Tour victory, the best record among golfers hailing from Massachusetts. He also won all five Massachusetts Open Championships that he entered. But the trophies he valued most were his wife Patricia, his six children, and his grandchildren. Upon hearing the news of his death in 2011, Paul Harney's good friend Steve Kelleher spoke the truest words of all. There's a sentence in Chaucer that has stayed with me, truth, honor, freedom, and courtesy. If you define those four words, they epitomize Paul Harney in my book. He was pure gold.